Athens is one of the great cities of the world, with history going back more than 3,400 years, and is generally considered the birthplace of Western civilization. So it's no wonder it's a place we've always wanted to see and hope to come back to again. After we arrived, we dropped our bags at the Moxie Hotel and headed out. We are in Athens and we decided to take the subway and see a little of the town and we found this archaeological excavation. Immediately outside the subway, we came upon Hadrian's Library and many other ruins interspersed among shops and restaurants. A hotel employee recommended the Monasteraki subway stop for a little exploration, and it was definitely the place to see and be seen. It was very near our hotel in Ammonia Square and was a terrific place to get views of the Acropolis as well as other ancient ruins, that, including the ancient Agora of Athens. The Stoa of Attalos was reconstructed in the 50s and is a museum for Agora artifacts. Like the ancient Agora before it, there are shops aplenty at Monasteraki Square, and around every corner is a new surprise, including churches. This was San Philippe Greek Orthodox Church. We had a Mediterranean cruise booked for the next day, which we showed in several previous videos. So a number of days passed before we returned to the same hotel and then headed to a hop-on, hop-off bus tour of the city. We stopped at Monasteraki Square again. This is the old Parliament House, now a National Historical Museum. The modern Necropolis Museum opened in 2009. This stop is a bus drop-off area for the climb to the Acropolis. We used our 24-hour hop-on hop-off bus ticket for a ride the next day to that very place. This is Hadrian's Arch, and these are the National Gardens. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is at the base of the old royal palace, now the Parliament, where there is a changing of the guard every hour of the day. If you were on the right side of the bus, you could see the Olympic Stadium and a preserved Roman bathhouse found while digging for a new subway. We saw the Academy of Athens, the University of Athens, and the National Library, in addition to the National Archaeological Museum. After our bus tour, we decided to get a closer look at some of the things we'd seen near our hotel. So we walked down Athenas Street to the Central Market, where we saw lots of meat, poultry, and fish being sold. The air was pungent, as you can imagine. And something was going on with the lights. At the next major intersection, we found ourselves at Monasteraki Square once again. We hadn't realized it was so close. So we found a good place for lunch with a view of the Acropolis. Look at these great meals with inside of the Acropolis. 
Caesar salad, swordfish, Caesar salad, club sandwich. Shopping and more shopping. After time in the square, we prepared to visit the Acropolis the next day. This is the line for the Acropolis. And as we have sat here waiting, it has grown and grown exponentially. It's loud here and very crowded. One of the first ruins we encountered on the Acropolis was the Theater of Dionysus. It was a hot day and the crowds were daunting, not to mention the steps. We headed through what is considered the gateway and got our first close-up view of the Parthenon. This is it, the top of the hill. The Parthenon was reportedly built as a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena. It was built between 447 and 432 BC and was destroyed in 1687 during a siege by the Venetians. Probably the only time I'll see the Parthenon. Parthenon. Amazing how old it is and how preserved it is. The smaller temple near the Parthenon was also dedicated to Athena, as well as other mythical deities. The porch of the maidens is striking in its use of human figure statues as columns. From the Acropolis, we walked down to the town. On the way, we discovered Mars Hill, where Paul the Apostle spoke to the Athenians. We had a wonderful time in Athens, and also in the other places we visited during our sixth country European tour. So for now, it's goodbye to Munich, Salzburg, Nuremberg, Lauterbrunnen, Florence, Rome, Mykonos, Ephesus, Patmos, Heraclean, Santorini, and Athens. We hope we see you again.